airframe fire protection, oral questions. Briefly describe the components of a thermal switch fire detection system. Temperature sensitive switches that complete a circuit at a specified temperature and trigger a warning. Are thermal switches wired in series or in parallel with each other? In parallel, so any one switch can activate the warning. How are the detector units in a double loop Fenwall system wired? In parallel, between two complete loops of wiring. In what way is a thermocouple fire warning system different from a thermal switch system? Thermocouple systems are sensitive to the rate of temperature change, whereas thermal switch systems respond to a specific temperature value. Briefly describe the components of a Kitty Continuous Loop Fire Detection System. In canal tube, containing one or more wires embedded in a ceramic core whose resistance changes with temperature. Briefly describe the components and operation of a Limburg fire detection system. A stainless steel tube that contains an inert gas and a discrete material that absorbs some of the gas. When the tube heats up, some gas is released, raising the pressure in the tube, which activates a pressure switch. Describe the process or mechanism by which a photoelectric smoke detector generates a warning of a possible fire. Smoke particles refract the light in the detector unit, causing the photoelectric cell to conduct electricity and trigger the alarm. How can the operation of a photoelectric smoke detector be tested? By actuating a test switch. Name two types of smoke detection systems used in aircraft. Light refraction, also known as photoelectric type, and ionization types. What are the usual locations where carbon monoxide detectors would be installed? In an aircraft cockpit or cabin. How does a carbon monoxide detector indicate the presence of this deadly gas? The tan spot on the detector will turn gray or black. What are the possible effects of kinks and sharp bends in the sensing elements of a fire warning system? False fire warnings caused by short circuits. How is a Freon container checked for proper pressure? A chart must be used to determine the maximum and minimum gauge pressure readings based on the ambient temperature. Name the two basic types of fire extinguishing systems.
the conventional system, and the high rate discharge system. Name the extinguishing agent most commonly used by conventional fire extinguishing systems. Carbon dioxide or CO2. Name the extinguishing agent most commonly used by high rate discharge fire extinguishing systems. Halon or halogenated hydrocarbon type agents, aka Freon. How are Freon bottles protected from excessively high temperatures and how can you tell this has occurred? A thermal fuse or blowout disc will release the agent if the bottle temperature exceeds a certain limit. This blows out a red indicator disc. What condition is indicated if the yellow disc is missing in a fire extinguishing system? The system has been discharged normally or by the pilot. Describe the mechanism by which a Freon bottle is discharged. An electrical signal fires an explosive squib which ruptures a frangible disc. How is the service life of a discharge cartridge calculated? From the date that is stamped on the cartridge by the manufacturer.